Well, students are learning Tarpon Springs African American history in a unique way. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit takes a deeper look at how a cemetery is bringing history to life. These beautifully hand-painted plaques were made by students to memorialize the unknown buried at the Tarpon Springs Rose Cemetery. We believe that there's about 400 bodies that are buried here um, without an identifiable marker. The memorialization project is part of the Rose Hill Cemetery curriculum being taught in Hillsborough and Pinellas County Schools. Rose Cemetery, originally called Rose Hill Cemetery, is the largest intact segregated African-American cemetery in Pinellas County and is still being used today. Social studies teacher Shannon Peck Bartle created the curriculum to teach students about the pioneering African-Americans buried here. There are roughly 2,000 people buried here at Rose Hill, each telling the story of black history in Tarpon Springs. Like Mahalia Jones, born in 1856, she was the only midwife to serve the African-American community in Tarpon Springs. Probably the most notable would be Richard Quarles, who's also known as Christopher Columbus. He was a former slave in South Carolina um, and was required to serve as a body tendant for his master in the Civil War. After the end of the war, he fled to um, down here to Tarpon Springs, where he opened up his own business. Those are the history lessons she believes are being kept alive through the cemetery and the rediscovering of other black cemeteries that were destroyed in the Tampa Bay area area that a place like this is really important to bring people together to kind of have that shared conversation of our community and some of the difficult histories in our past and how we can work together to move forward in a way that brings respect to all people in Tarpon Springs Rebecca Petit ABC Action News